Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to look at a Star Wars Lego magnet set. And this is the very set, or maybe not this actual set, but this is the very magnet series that made me stop buying Lego magnets. Uh, this is one with Anakin, the Tal's Chieftain, and the Clone Palette. And unbeknownst to me at the time, Lego started a new process, which I loathe. It's one of my least favorite th decisions that Lego has made. Uh, I think I would rather buy Jack Stone than to buy product that has been um, put through what this product has been put through. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open this package up. Uh, it's really not worth anything anymore because of what they did. Um, and we're going to... I'm going to show you why I don't like it. Um, this was some that I got on clearance. I have bought about 50 of these, I think, for less. I mean, they were cheap. They were like $2. I was so excited. I got them dirt cheap, and then I opened them up, and I'll show you what I found. All right, here is the item number, 853130. And this came out in 2011. But notice up here at the top under the magnet magnetor it says lego elements are glued together and i opened the first one and i realized they were glued together and i thought well i can separate the glue well <laughs> it turned out to be more of a challenge than i thought so i'm going to just open this one see that's the other thing i don't like is that you destroy the packaging when you open it. Get some of the Batman magnets and you can put them right back in the case when you're done with them. Not with, not so with these. Unless you want to take a heat gun or heat a blow dryer and loosen the glue along the edge of the packaging. Maybe you could do it that way. But anyway, so you got these magnet sets. Figures. And that's the reason we would buy the minifigures or the magnets is to get the minifigures. <laughs> what do I do with a number? One of these. But anyway, so it was a good way of getting figures. These magnet sets were usually about $15. So, you, I mean, you're talking $5 a figure. But for Star Wars figures, that was pretty good. Some of the other, like the city, that wasn't as good a deal. So you could buy these. But another thing on these is a lot of these figures were made in China and wherever they produced them there it did not um, have the same quality yeah it would say here's the remnant of it I'll show you it says components made in Denmark and China and some started to know in minor differences uh, they're not big enough that I ever had a problem with that oops got out of focus there there we go but yeah, that, that was the quality. Some complained about the quality of the ones produced outside of Denmark, or actually not because other places produce it besides Denmark, but the ones specifically in China. So anyway, so you got these magnets with the, all the other magnet sets you could that were on these bricks up until this year or the year before. You could take the figure off. He was just um, he was just stuck on there, and when I went to take them off. He wouldn't come off. And then that's when I read on the back that he's glued. Now you can take the lightsaber off. You can take his head off. His headgear and his head come off. You can even rip his arms out of the sockets. But that's about it. He is permanently stuck. So, that's Anakin with his leg stuck to the magnet. This is the Tal's chiefman, chieftain. He's stuck to the magnet. He's got a, he has the addition of a um, one by two plate because his um, head, which is a neat little head piece, it comes off this big. He doesn't really have a minifigure head, it's just this molded piece. 
and his weapon comes off, which is good. All right, put him back, and then here's... Uh, oh, I forgot what this was already. Clone pilot. So you can take the head off the torso, but you can't take the torso off the legs, and you can't take the um, legs off of the magnet. And I asked uh, a lady in customer service, I don't think that's why I called, it's been so long ago, it's been three years ago, but whatever I, the reason I called, and I asked her, I said, what's the deal with the magnets? And they, she didn't really tell me why they do it, they just have to do it that way, is pretty much the way she said it. And I said, well, y'all just might as well stop making them. I said, I mean, I'm so upset, I'm, I'm not going to buy any more magnets, and I, I didn't, I haven't bought any more magnets. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't see the point of it, if you can't take it off of the, the magnet. But before I knew how they actually connected them, I, when they said it was glue, I said, okay, I can take the glue apart. So, I tried everything, I tried chemicals, I tried hot water. Here's what the legs look like. Yeah, I need to move these guys out of the way. So I can focus a little better. Show you the legs. It is not actually glue. It may have the appearance of glue, but that is not what it is. I, the most effective way I found to get them loose is to boil them in water, and then basically you can pry them apart, but then they're going to have this damage to them. And some of them, I was a little impatient, and this kind of stuff would happen. The, uh, what's it called, um, the chieftain dude? He was the hardest to get off because of this stinking one by two plate there, but he got all damaged. Here's some other ones I broke. Got a little impatient. This was like a better job I did, but even once you got it off of the magnet, I could never get the torso. Look at that, I broke that one. I could never get the torso and the legs separated, which was that stunk. So I, I just took all the parts I could salvage off of them, the arms, the heads, headgear, weapons. And that's like I gave up. By the time I was doing these clone pilots, I just took their head, their arms, and their hands, and their headgear off. So yeah, I mean the magnet's not even useful, because you can't you can't ever take it off of the magnet. So I mean it's just a lose, 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 lose. I mean it's just I hate it. So never buy these that say they are glued because they are not in fact glued it is a chemical process where they put the chemical agent on either the magnet or the minifigure legs and what it does it uses the plastic from the legs and the plastic from the magnet piece and it chemically bonds them together so basically it's almost like you melted the glue I mean, that's not what, exactly what's going on. I'm just simplifying it. You, you, you've basically melted the glue, from, or the plastics together, not the glue, but the plastics. Uh, the, the, the chemical reacts with the two plastics, or the plastic from the two parts, and they become one piece of plastic, essentially. So, bad, bad idea. And I hate it. So anyway, thought I'd show you, never buy a magnet set that says it's been glued. And pretty much all the magnet sets today are glued. So I don't buy magnets. So anyway, thought I'd show you that. Thanks for watching. This is Woodyard.